so today I'm gonna make some borscht. This is the chicken that um, I cut, and I already put some in here. Chicken too. I'm gonna take all this out. It has to boil, and then we're gonna put the other ingredients. So also the other ingredients that I'm gonna use is three big beets like this. I'm gonna tell you what to do with it in a minute. Okay. Of the yellow golden potatoes from Costco. And now my spices is garlic, salt, black pepper, cabbage, dill. And this is dash. This is vegeta. You can buy it at Russian stores. And lemon pepper, also onion and um, carrot. Gonna be chopped and um, fried. So I have my borscht on high. And I have this tool, which I like to pick all this out. Just like kind of this paper towel. People do add some canned tomatoes or canned like a paste or something to borscht. I don't because the red beets is what you need to add to make this borscht to be red. You don't need extra tomatoes or to make to, tomato paste. So it's up to you what you like to do with it basically everybody has their different way of cooking the borscht my chicken is boiling and i take took a lot of that white stuff out this is pretty much clear now i'm gonna slice the potatoes show you how to I slice them and put them in the boiling water Do is slice them. Okay, so I'm gonna bag it this way. This is how I slice them. And they're all done. I'm just gonna put them in that boiling water with the chicken. Okay, chopped up all my potatoes. And I'm going to add them to the big pot that I have. I don't know how many quarts that part is. Oops, one potato fell. So you see how the water is pretty. It has these, like a fat kind of chicken so you don't even need to add the chicken stock chicken has its own fat but you just have to get that white stuff out that stuff's not good. couldn't show you how I did it all of them because doing all this with one hand so I just have to stop the video and put it in there once it's start boiling I'm gonna add more stuff beads out they were four minutes in the microwave because they're still kind of a little bit hard to um they need to be more um moist or softer I mean okay. to cut them yet still so that's why I'm gonna cut them in half and put for three more minutes and then I'm gonna put my gloves and peel them and cut them. Because if you don't put the gloves, you're gonna have all these red on your fingers. So 
We're going back to the microwave for three more minutes. Okay, here I have chopped onion, which is half an onion chopped, and one shredded carrot. First, I'm gonna basically, so here I have a chopped onion, which is half an onion chopped. My daughter chopped it for me. And all these spices, and then shredded carrot, only one carrot. And what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put the chopped onion to fry. After the onion fries, we're gonna put the carrots in there with the onion to fry a little bit too. Now that my onions are golden, I'm gonna add shredded toma um, tomatoes. I always like to say tomatoes. Shredded carrot. This is one carrot. Just add to the onions. And fry it together. And then we're gonna put it in the water. That our carrots and onion, half an onion, is mixed. We can put it in the water. And then after that, we can put spices. Now that we put the carrot and the onion, you see how the soup is already getting different color, which is like more orangey from the because of the carrot. And now I'm gonna add my spices. What I do is I just put, you know, as much, I got a teaspoon, I guess, all the spices. This is garlic salt. Next is gonna be this is dash. are almost done so microwave when you put them in the microwave they're more soft basically like pre-cooked so you don't have to cook them for too long in a big pot they're almost done my daughter is helping me with them thank you and the way you peel them is like you peel them just like potato that's the way you peel them i mean peel them so now we're gonna add the beets to our borscht. My other daughter's helping me. Blah, 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 all of it. Yes. Good job. See, and automatically you can tell when you put the beets, the borscht gets red. I already tried it after I put the spices. I already tried it, so it has enough spices. But since we put the beets and we're gonna put the cabbage, we're probably gonna need a little more spices after that. Next is the cabbage and some dill and parsley. So we cut the cabbage in half. And we're gonna take this part out. Once it's out, the way you cut the cabbage is this way. Make it small, tiny, professional. And all you need is just half of the cabbage, or less, it depends. Now that the cabbage is all chopped up, so I did use half of the cabbage, and we're gonna add it to the borscht. It's boiling. Mm -hmm. 
like all of it there. And once it's gonna boil again for maybe three to five minutes, right now I'm gonna chop some dill and parsley, add dill and parsley. When it's gonna boil for about three to five minutes, it's pretty much done. Okay, now it's been boiling for five minutes. Just gonna add some dill and some frozen parsley because I don't have the fresh parsley. have any questions let me know subscribe and like thank you borscht is ready hot red borscht yes yummy 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 Begin. <laughs> See, I already eat my... 